Um, it is Saturday and I am alive. I'm not, <laughs> I don't know, I've not looked at last night's footage, but um, I know I was quite drunk. Um, but yeah, I'm alright, I actually feel pretty human. Um, Bex just in the bathroom, I've had a shower. And I'm going to like put some clothing on soon so we can go for breakfast. The building works is very kindly over there. Um, do you want to see where I slept? This is where I slept last night. This is my lovely, comfortable bed. I slept here. Clever. <laughs> Basically, I fell out of the bed twice. So I was like, stuff it. So I just got a cushion and a pillow and slept on the floor. It's still really hot. Like, I've had a shower and I put my jammies back on. And I could probably shower again. It's that hot here. And there's no air con. Oh. But I think I'm going to go in the pool today. So, I'll go for a splish splash in the pool. But yeah, need some breakfast. Need some carbs in my life. Morning. Right, um, I got up terribly late this morning. Well, I said terribly, about half an hour late. So um, I had to run the dogs around for the walk and sort of quickly shave. I should have done that last night, but I sort of lost my way a bit and just sat there bored around it. Um, so yeah, I've not videoed anything yet. This is the first time I've spoken to you today. So yeah, the boys are um, just currently eating the breakfast and they're about to have a nap because they're both still very tired. Um, yeah, rugby today, you know, um, it's hot day today, but here's a tip, right, I, I hope it works, but um, last night, I kept thinking about how can I keep the dog's water cold, I know we have somebody come in, change the water and let them out for pee and all that, but I thought, just a bit, something else, I right, can't usually put a couple of, um, ice cubes in each, in each of the dog's bowls when it's hot weather like this. So I was like, oh, what can I do, what can I do? And I've, there's a couple of Tupperware boxes. Well, I said Tupperware boxes. Uh, um, the old plastic Chinese tray things uh, with the lids. So I half filled them with water. Whacked them in the freezer last night. And, um, they're not completely frozen because they've only been in the freezer about six or seven hours. The, the, they're frozen, but not completely. You can sort of see underneath. You know, the top's frozen. You see underneath that there's some cold, you know, some liquid still moving around. So I'm hoping that when it starts to melt slightly, that Gilly will get in there and get that bits of ice and, and enjoy that. And I'm hoping Darwin will do the same. I know Gilly's a lot more into ice than what Darwin is. Because when he was teething, some of the tips we were given were like freeze things and let him gnaw on a frozen thing because it looked like soup his gums. And he's never sort of got away from that. Well, he has, but I mean, he, you know, if you've got an ice cube or something and you drop it in the kitchen, you know, like trying to get him out the tray, I think. And you always end up dropping one, don't you? He's there. Crunch, 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 crunch. You sort of think, well, he, he likes it, so, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go now, because I'm going to work. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, I will see you guys later on. Should I say you'll see me later on? So, we're off for breakfast. Beck is looking gorgeous. Where's your dress from, Beck? Uh, it's a pepper tree. I got it from a shop in Sinostal. Pepper tree. Um, and I'm just wearing fat people's clothes. But I'm looking glorious. I'm going to get some food because I'm starving. Hi guys. So we had breakfast. I went and had my manicure. Didn't really ash it. It's like she shaped them really nicely, but she painted them a bit crap. But you know, life goes on. I'll probably touch them up afterwards. We are about to go to the pool and have a jacuzzi. I don't have the GoPro with me today, so I can't take you with me. 
Um, but this is my... Ooh, yeah, let's keep you up here. This is the swimming costume. Glorious. So yes, I'm gonna go and have a swim. Hi guys, so we have had a, a lovely time in the jacuzzi and the swimming pool. It was girt lush. Um, this is what happens to my horrible manicure. La. We uh, found a fan. Becca wanted to steal it. I asked housekeeping because I'm a good person. <laughs> And yes, it's so hot. Um, but look, look over here. We go through the building site. Over there, there are boys playing rugby. It's almost as if John's with us. Back in the corridor, and we are now going for afternoon tea. Um, I've got very much makeup on because the plan is to go back in the pool afterwards. So we're going to have some scones and some finger sandwiches apparently. It should be spiffingly good fun. I've been a bit rubbish today. I had bids work. Um just as I was getting ready to sort of leave work and go to rugby, um, my god per godfather's son and his girlfriend turned up at the post office. So um, that sent me a little bit back, a little bit late. Um, they live in Cambridge, you see, so that's like miles away. But um, you know, not since well. I saw Simon a few months ago at a funeral, but um, before that, I've not seen him since he was a baby. And he's 21 now, I think. But um, that's sort of, you know, I see my godfather quite regular, but, well, I used to. When we lived up north, he used to come up and down on business a lot, but um, obviously, because it was business, he didn't bring the family. And then when we moved to Cornwall, even further away from Cambridge, didn't really seem very much then either. So it was um, nice to catch up with Simon. Um, I saw, like I say, I saw him at a funeral a few months ago, and um, yeah, really nice lad. And um, his girlfriend Millie, she's really nice as well. So um, that sent me back a little bit. I got to rugby going just on in the nick of time, and uh, my Inca holder thing fell off the windscreen with my phone in it so I think it's a video on the way then as soon as I got pulled up at the rugby ground I got bombarded by people one thing or another so that was that um, and yeah this afternoon has just been a blur I've been on for about two hours and I just sat here and went oh YouTube our followers and people some people like to hear this so I speak um, well, we won the rugby today, 52-36 I think it was, and uh, that means we've won the league leaders um, thing, so we've finished top of the league, um, um, but the champions of the league don't, don't quite work like that, you don't just finish top of the league, you have to win the playoffs, so we get go straight through, as league leaders, we go straight through to the grand final, so the team that finishes second and third will play off against each other, and the winner of that will play us in the grand final for the right to be champions. So, fantastic. I'm over the moon, but I'm absolutely shattered. I feel like I've made every pass and made every tackle today. My body is aching. Um, Darwin's playing with his pig, as you can hear. Gilly's asleep. Um, I come home, I had a shower. I made a coffee. Rock and roll a lot. Um... All the boys have gone to Falmouth for curry and beers and karaoke. And I sort of thought, oh, come on, what the dogs, see how they are. And I'm like trying to get left down there and go. But I've sat down and my feet and my body is just aching. I've had it in play, so I'm just tired. So tired. I'm watching all the fills and horses. 
Oh, I might get some tea together in a bit. And I'll see you in a bit. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. We've got our black dresses on. We're like 20 minutes late, and it's all my fault. I was like, got out of the shower, and Becca looked flawless like that. <laughs> and I was naked. Becca has seen a lot of me naked this weekend. But, but we're good friends. And nakedness is nothing to be ashamed of. <sighs> Sweating my bum off. And if I don't breathe in in this dress, I look a bit pregnant. This door won't open. Because it's a pool door. <laughs> so special. <sighs> but yes, we're going to go get crew. And you're going to come with us. Because you are lucky, lucky, lucky. Hi guys, so we have just had drinks in the hen's room. Woo now we're off to go find a taxi and find some more bloody food. Yeah, Hi guys, I'm not sure if you can it's very loud, but we are in a tapas bar. The food's not come yet, it's very busy, there's no air conditioning. I'm finding myself with the wine menu, but it's very busy. Hi guys, so we've just finished eating, it's like 9 o'clock, um, lots of tapas, lots of alcohol. The restaurant we went to is, I think it was really nice. It's still really hot, sweating, <sighs> gotta go.